Welcome, friends, to another episode of That Whiskey Show. I am Chris, and this beautiful lady is my wife, Joan. Hi. Uh, tonight, we're both excited to try a new whiskey that neither one of us have tried before. And uh, this is Omaha's very own Brickway uh, Sherry Cask Single Malt. Is that correct? Yep. So, yeah, Joni uh, took a look around. She was trying to find something cool, something local that we could do a review on and do a tasting on, and she came up with this. So I'm pretty excited about it, and I'm going to turn it over to her so she can kind of talk about the things that she knows about it, and then we'll get to the tasting. Well, uh, again, pretty straightforward. This is, um, they are very honest about exactly what they put in it. It is 100% malted barley. Um about two years in a cask. Um, they use American New Oak, uh, American New Charred Oak. They do not have to. Um, technically, for American single malts, there is no um, federal definition. Okay. Malted whiskey uh, is defined as being 100%. Um, it, it's basically 100% malted barley that uh, meets the requirements for uh, whiskey of its type. Gotcha. And um, they're trying to possibly put a new federal definition on the books, but right now, not real high on the list of priorities. So um, there is no technical definition for what an American single malt is, but they're working on it. Perfect. Um, While you're talking, I'm gonna. Are you gonna crack it? You crack the seal. You bought it. You crack it. <laughs> yeah, I just I was. Uh, I guess in that's the, the market. way. Right, that's the way it goes. If you pay for it, you crack it. Is that how it goes? Well, not always. Okay. Well, in this case, that's <laughs> what we're gonna roll with. All right. I am very eager to try this. I do love sherry. Whoa. <laughs> As she said, <laughs> she's very eager to try okay, this. Okay. So the color. <laughs> I mean, I, you, you can see it in the bottle. It is dark. Wow. But that's like mahogany. That That is not a color you see in, in whiskey every day. And I did call the distillery earlier and uh, spoke with someone a about... Um, there is no color added to this. It is chill filtered. Um, not real sure about why they are chill filtering. Um but yeah, no artificial color. That color is 100% uh, from the barrel. The nose so, on this is spectacular. Oloroso sherry aged. Oh, man. <laughs> and um, with you liking, and I like Oloroso aged too. This is more in the Scotch kind of tradition rather than uh, the American tradition, which is going to be more bourbons and rye. So, 100% malted barley. So you've got the uh, the new make is going to be closer to a Scotch, and Oloroso sherry. Um, not something that you see as a, a whiskey finish all that much. Uh, an American whiskey finish all that much. It's all the time used for scotch. Like, um, what's that one that you like? Angel's Envy. Yeah. Uh, port. Um, they use PX Sherry for the um, Jim Beam Mass Sherry Mass Preach, which is amazing. So a lot of times they, they're going for the, uh, the sweeter, the ports and uh, the PX, which... Are, are incredibly sweet. So this should not add quite as much sweetness as the typical uh, port and sherry finishes that you see on American whiskeys. So gotcha. we shall see. And this is uh, 90, 90 proof. proof. So, I mean, it's got, a, it's got a good proof to it, not super high, which you can definitely tell while nosing it. You're not getting a blast of ethanol at all. That is just 100% sherry. Chocolate. Just, I get chocolate uh, in there too. The nose on this is absolutely fantastic. It it really is, and I'm just trying to let it breathe a little bit more before I actually go in for the taste because I'm just enjoying the nose on it so Look much. Look at those legs. Yeah, there's chill. There is chill filtering, but whoa. And this is this is, as far as we know, two years for sure. 
Two but. years for sure uh, is what I was told. Um, what I've found online is almost two years, but I'm thinking the additional casking in the sherry barrel probably brought it up to two years. Gotcha. Because, wow. There is. There's that. It's uh, rich. The nose the, is incredibly the, the rich. The baking chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like brick chocolate. That you use baking with and the sherry. Walnuts. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Black, like black walnuts. Almost like there's black walnut bitters already put in here. Wow. Like, that, uh, like yeah, really trending towards like a like a black walnut bitter Rob Roy type th- thing This happening. out of all of the whiskeys that we have reviewed so far, for me personally, this is the best nose, I think, out of all of them. Oh, Try it. So with that nose, you're kind of expecting something that is incredibly sweet. Wow. But it's really, it's really nice and dry. It is very dry. It, it's not cloying at all. It spreads nicely over the palate. Um, nice, warm. But you still but get that deep chocolate kind of finish. And... Black yes. Walnuts. Yes, and it has a very nice. It it uh, being ninety proof, you're not getting a whole lot of the burn, but you get a real nice warm to it. Like it, just a very nice warm going down. This is. I am, I'm impressed. I'm really. Impressed. I am impressed. Uh, the last few years, this uh, this distillery, um, which is which started off as a brewery. Um, I believe they were our first whiskey distillery in Omaha. But, wow, they have come up from being not something I would have recommended a few years ago. But about about three, four years ago, they started putting out some really nice stuff. Um, And this is this is fantastic. Yeah, really. This is this isn't a hometown thing. (laughs) This is I mean, just because it's made here. If we if we didn't like it, we would tell you we're always trying to be very straight up on this show. Uh, But this this is absolutely fantastic. Nice. Yeah, it really is. is Really, really nice. I'm very, very impressed with this. Um, Hats off. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Well, done. this is very, very good. Very, very good whiskey. Um, Wow. Uh, so I, now, easy to drink. Now, being that this is an Omaha uh, product, I so I assume this is not ready available for everyone. Now, do they have a website? Do they ship? Can you get things like this delivered? Most states will not let a distillery ship direct. Um, and that's what I so thought. So if can, they're not selling through like a secondary place. I did find it online um, at a couple of places. Just Google it, and uh, you, you should be able to buy this. Um, whether it ships to your state is a whole nother thing. And they should have disclaimers on there. I mean, we've eh, ordered... It's uh, tough. A lot of the places like... Uh, um, and I'll put them in the links below, like the Spirit place that I just ordered off of. And I'm apologizing that I'm drawing the blank. I will put some links below from a couple places that I have ordered whiskey from that I thought handled it really well. And they have right in there showing you exactly what states they will not ship to. So I would I will put those in the links below, and I will also try to put a link to uh, Brickway Brickway's website as well, so you can go check them out because this is this highly is enjoyable fantastic. whiskey. This is really good. I'm very happy that you picked this up. Me too. Really, really nice. Very, very impressed that the palate actually delivers on what the nose promises and. It's dry. Yes. It, it, it's not crazy dry, but I no. ex- you're expecting sweet on the palate, and it's it's not. No, and it has a really nice finish. That dryness stays with you, but you really get that chocolate at the end that just yeah. sticks there. Yeah, it's uh, kind of it's, no it's not a super long finish, at all. Finish, it's but just, it's, it is. It's that very very dry. But you really get that hit of that chocolate at the end that sticks there. Yeah. Um, just extremely, extremely unique way to go. Um, I think well executed all the way around. Yeah. And what was uh, what does a bottle like this run? I paid sixty five dollars for this all day long. Like, yeah, not even a question. Worth it. A hundred percent worth it. Worth it. Yeah. This is 
really enjoyable. I was hoping to get their cask strength, and I got this instead just mm-hmm. because, you know, you like a nice Oloroso finish. Uh, right. Most of, a lot of my favorite scotches uh, use Oloroso, although my one of my absolute, absolute favorites, Balvini um, 21 Portwood. Oh. Oh, if you want to see something finished in a uh, in a super super sweet wine barrel, that is one of the best things that you can put in your mouth. Man, <laughs> <laughs> shut up! <laughs> <laughs> wow, um, I stand so. by that statement. <laughs> so I uh, I lost my train of thought, but letting it breathe a little bit more and going back in for the nose after you've let some air in it, you're really getting that dark cherry. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I just wow, really. Hats off, Brickway. Both well of us, yeah, are super impressed with this. This is, and, you know, to have this in our backyard, to this yeah. be, you know, a homemade product right here in Omaha, pretty proud of that. That's very cool. It's, uh, you know, this is, this is a high-quality product right here. Very happy that we did the review on this. I'd like to try it with a little water and see what the water does for it. Let's do it. It's 90 proof, so it can handle it. Mm-hmm. Won't drown like that poor Basil Hayden did. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that opened, it up, that opened wa- it up a lot. Wow. Uh, again, as as always, uh, getting that ethanol a little bit more in the nose. Yeah, and, at, and that will first happen. First off, right mm-hmm. off the bat. Mm-hmm. But... You don't lose. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, the ethanol ups a little bit, but you still have that incredible cherry and dark chocolate note to it that just won't go away, which is great. Yeah, and and it's not it's not all raisin, which a a lot of sherry and and port finishes Mm -hmm. can tend to be like, oh, there's that hit of overripe grapes and raisins. I mean, it's in there. It's there, but it, it's not the first thing that, that gets you. Correct. I mean, it, it, it mingles well. It, I mean, yeah, that finish is so nice. Now, the water did help. Uh, I won't say help. That would be the wrong word because I actually like the fact that it's dry. But that water did smooth it out just a little bit. You're still getting the dryness, but it did give I, it just I that don't little think that hit. I not any smooth at all. And generally, I'll, I will almost always say, I wish it was a higher proof. But, uh, you know, I don't mind it at 90. No. I don't particularly miss the proof. There, There's nothing missing. There's no, like, mid-palate missing. There's no... No, it's... It, it, it it's, develops nicely. Mm-hmm. It, it's, it's good. It's really good just all the way across the board. And not what I expected. Not at all no. what I expected. I mean, this I would put up there as now having had this... I would put this as a daily drinker. This would be one that I could come home and wanted one each night as a nightcap. I could definitely uh, go with this. I would put this as a daily drinker. Wow. Do you like this uh, better, worse, the same as uh, Angel's Envy? I like this better. I like this better. I agree. I actually like it a lot better. And I like the Angel's Envy a lot, so that actually says a lot. The um, Angel's Envy has a lot more sweetness to it, you know, because of the port. It, it does. Um, and the, the corn. So the corn uh, pulls out a lot more of the vanilla right. from the oak. I think that you kind of, with this whiskey, are getting the best of both worlds because you're getting the sweet notes in the nose and you still get them in the taste as well. But you get that dry finish to it, so you're not getting that waxy, oily, oversweetened taste that maybe puts some people off. Like my wife, she doesn't she doesn't really like she likes them, but she definitely would prefer something more along these lines than an overly sweet whiskey. Um, you know, for me, I enjoy the sweet whiskeys, but I'm getting the best of the both worlds out of this one, where I'm still getting those really nice sweet Mm -hmm. notes but you get that really good dry finish to it so it has that 
just well played. <laughs> well played. This uh, is this is a malted barley. That's the okay. the malted barley uh, new make shining through on the, on a really young whiskey yeah, yeah. that doesn't have any it doesn't punch you in the face it has no sharp edges it's only two years old and wow yeah. i mean i would it, blind tasting i don't i would not say that this is two years old i would not know what to make of this blind tasting this i would have no idea what this was agreed and yeah once again, I mean, it's closest to a scotch. Is, yeah, I, I'm excited but, to. Uh, I, as I said, I'll put links in the description. I definitely want to represent these guys. Get get some knowledge out about them. So please, definitely go check out uh, the link below that I put for their website and any possible availability to possibly get this delivered to you if you are outside of Omaha or Nebraska. Uh, if you're over in Iowa. Drive on oh, just over. drive on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just drive on over and uh, and really check these guys out because this is I'm really impressed with Brickway here. This yeah. is very very nice stuff, and you know, truly, I think uh, Joni and I are going to very much enjoy this bottle. And I don't really see it lasting very long in our no. house. I, <laughs> so. And it's continuing to develop. I'm getting salinity and more mm. oak off of it now. Yeah, you just oh, let my, it. Yeah. You just sit and let it breathe for a while, and everything really. Yeah, wow, just. I think a lot of Scotch drinkers um, would be won over by this. Mm. It, it is, it and, is continuing to develop in the glass in a beautiful way that a lot of whiskeys don't do. Right, and for me, I have not um, had a whole lot of Scotch. So I can't necessarily, I mean, my wife has, so I definitely agree with what she's saying. But for me, I can't really put that out there because I haven't had a whole lot of scotch. I can just tell you, as I said, from the side of enjoying sweeter whiskeys, that this really has given me an experience of giving me that nose that I wanted, the flavor that I wanted, but taking it to that extra level of still giving it some dryness too so it's um yeah all across the board i i i have to highly recommend this whiskey yeah so, it, it is um, unique um i i am i'm pretty stunned by it I yeah, mean, I was not. I was not expecting. I didn't. This at ex- all. I didn't expect it either. Um, and I like that I mean, you're pouring us some more. I was expecting <laughs> to be happy with it. Um, but I wasn't expecting it to like knock my socks off in a way that is like, oh my god, this doesn't taste like anything. Yeah, just it's good, and it doesn't taste. It tastes like a lot of things, but it doesn't taste like anything. Yeah, I can't. I can't sit and say, "Oh, yeah, this tastes like this it, whiskey." It kind of reminds me um, of a chocolate malted rye I've had from New York. It's and mm. but but it doesn't remind me of a rye. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. It it is very 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 well, cool. Very cool whiskey. Yeah. Um, Got to tell you, friends. Unique. Really, uh, as you can tell. We very much enjoy this, so definitely if you way to go, yeah, Brickway. If you can get your hands on this, you really should. I think that this is going to cover a lot of bases for a lot of people all across the board on your whiskey journey. So really, get out there, check the links, check the website, leave comments below if you've had this before, and tell us what your thoughts on it are. And um, as always, from the both of us, once again, we love doing this. This is such fun for us. It's a great way as husband and wife to spend some time together. And, uh, you know, we we truly do enjoy putting out these reviews. And, uh, you know, if you're digging it, thank you so much. We do truly appreciate each and every one of you that click on the channel and give it a watch. uh, It's a thrill for us. So, uh, as always, friends, this one's for you. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next episode.